I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. This topic comes from my 30 plus years of business, sales and freight moving success. Watch, learn and apply it. You'll move more freight efficiently, effectively, effortlessly and make more money financially. And call me at 626-309-9141 with any questions. Now explode your business with... Hey guys, hello and welcome again to my Tuesday training call. I'm Ted Keyes, your top freight agent training expert. This is a free high power training I hold live every Tuesday for new struggling and top producing freight sales agents, forwarders and freight brokers at 2 p.m. Pacific time and 5 p.m. Eastern time. Today I'll show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly so you multiply your income financially. And after this training, go to my website, tedkeysonline.com, to hear more of my podcasts, read more of my blog posts, watch more of my videos, and then visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products that multiply your income as well. When you arrive at my Freight Sales Success Store, you'll see a host of products available there for purchase. First one you'll see is my Freight Sales Success Guide, typically for beginner and struggling freight agents, that when you join our top producing freight sales office, I do provide this for you free of charge. Next product you'll see there is my Freight Sales Success Quotes. These quotes will get you motivated daily you to get on the phone and make connections and build relations with the marketplace. Third product you'll see there is my freight sales success skills. These skills, as you'll see, this, this profession requires a tremendous amount of different skills. My freight sales success skills will teach you what's required to become a success. And also, my next product you'll see is my freight sales success training that will take you from knowing little or nothing about moving freight to watching the videos and covering your first load and beyond. Those products available in my Freight Sales Success Store. And while you're there at my website, on any page you happen to be, just go to the right and enter your contact details. By doing that, you'll receive your own weekly email invite to this and every training. You'll also get my free attachments I provide on every training. You'll also get my free report that's been downloaded thousands of times. 11 ways freight brokers move 20 plus more loads per week. And if you want to multiply your income with my top producing freight sales success system for freight brokers, agents, forwarders, importers, and exporters, then go to tedkeysonline.com to get started. Today's topic is four big questions to ask yourself. Four big questions to ask yourself. So again, those of you that are on my contact list, I've sent you several invites uh, to get on the call today. Scroll down any one of those to that attachment on the bottom. Just go ahead and print it out if you haven't already. That attachment is free when you get on my contact list. If you're curious about how to get on there, just go to my website, tedkeysonline.com and go to the upper right hand corner of any page, enter your contact details, that will get you on my contact list, it'll get you your weekly invite to this call. However, go ahead and scroll down for those of you that are, scroll down, print out or follow along with that attachment on the bottom. Again, my topic is four big questions to ask yourself, four big questions to ask yourself. And we're asking ourselves those four questions right now because we're in the latter part 
of 2017. We're in the latter part of 2017. And the big question is, what will you do to finish 2017? Are you going to finish in a whimper, go out like this, you know, barely paying your bills? Or are you going to, are you going to finish going on an upswing? On an upswing, I will say this, only you can decide what you're going to do. But either way, let's talk about those four big questions for you to ask or really for you to ponder. And those four big those four big questions are, let me start out with question number one. Question number one is, and I'm asking this from my perspective, and you know, turn that around to your perspective, but I'm asking it from my perspective, as, as if I'm asking myself this, you ask yourself the same question. Question number one is, do I wanna spend my life making only enough money to end up with not enough money. Let me ask that again. Do I want to spend my life making only enough money to end up with not enough money? What do you mean by that, Ted? Think of all the folks that have a retirement mentality. Not only a retirement mentality, but are outliving the national average. There are so many folks that don't plan to have enough money at the end of their life cycle. Do you want to be in the situation where you don't want to have enough money? I mean, really think about it. That's why you got into this profession. You got into the profession because you want to have or you desire to have more money and have way more money to pay your bills, especially as you get older and older. So I'll ask it again. Do I want to spend my life making only enough money to end up with not enough money? My goal is that you would not. My goal is that you will put forth the effort to make, let, let's say, 10 times more money than you ever dreamed of, uh, you know, provided you had a job or something like that. That's question number one. That's question number one. Question number two is, do I want to work out in the gym only once a week to get sore and never see a change in my body type? One more time. Do I want to work out in the gym once a week just to get sore and to never see a change in my body type. The reason why I ask the question in that format is it, it, it goes like this. There are so many individuals that come into this profession, they kind of bop around for a little bit, then they get out, really not accomplishing anything, then they come back in, they give it in their mind another shot, bop around for a little bit, go out, come back in, I have a gentleman who's emailing me for the third time, third time because he wants to get back in on my freight sales team. What do you think I did with his email? I got rid of it. I deleted it. Why? Because he'll continue to do the same thing. He'll come in, he'll make a few phone calls, bop around a little bit, waste my time, and then I won't see him again. See, th these are individuals that think that the, there's always something greener, you know, in, in some other pasture. That's why they come in, somebody told them, hey, get into freight sales, become a freight broker, you're gonna make a ton of money. They come in, again, they make a few phone calls, they bop around a little bit, they don't persevere, and they don't deliver any of the goods. That's, that's a direct correlation to going to the gym once a week, you know, working out a little bit, get sore, and never ever seeing any results from, uh, from their actions. Do you see the similarities there? Question number three, do I want to get merely good at something? Do I want to merely get good at something when I know the freight market will only reward me for excellence? Do I want to get really good at something, just good, meaning average, when I know the freight industry only rewards those that provide excellence? I mean, really, if you're just chugging along, doing the average amount of work, paying your bills, that's all the farther you're going to get. In order to get really good in this profession, you have to pound daily. You have to do a minimum of 10 times the amount of effort that you can even imagine in your mind. How, how do you do that? Well, you sit down, you pick up the phone, and you make call after call after call and build your contact list. So do I want to get really good at something when I know the freight market will only reward me for, for excellence? My goal, my hope is that your answer for that would be no. 
big N-O. Fourth question is, do I want to work eight hours a day at a job where no one will recognize me? If you think you're getting a ton of recognition at a job, think again. You are there with so many other folks thinking the same thing, thinking that they're being recognized by the job that they're doing. Well, how can anybody recognize you if you're all doing the same thing and thinking the same thing? If you have a job, hey, jobs are required. Not everybody can do this, but if you have a job, don't think that you're going to become this huge superstar doing the same thing day after day after day. Do you want to be a superstar? Then think above and beyond a job. Think above and beyond a job because when you want to be a star, you can be a star when you successfully run your own business. One more time, do I want to work eight hours a day at a job where no one will recognize me, where I can be a star and run my own business? You have to decide which one you want to do. Have a job or be a star in your own business. You don't even have to think like you, you, have to, you want to be a star. Just think, hey, I will run a, my own successful business one day. I understand that it's going to take a huge amount of effort to build a foundation and to continue building on that block by block by block. But if you don't think beyond a job mentality, it just won't happen. You see, all of these examples that I just gave you right now, they all require massive, I mean massive amounts of effort. So many people come into this thinking, I'm just going to do this and coast along. Well, it never happens. Why? Because it takes so much energy. It just, just getting on the phone and listening to me speak once a week takes energy. But at least you can take the skills that I'm providing you for free and apply them. However, to build a foundation in any business, it, it, not just freight sales, in any business, in web design, in construction, it takes a massive amount of energy to build your business. Why? Because when you first get in, the first thing you have to do is you have to get attention. How do you get attention? You get attention by picking up the phone day after day after day, making calls with the marketplace and connecting with shipping decision makers. Once you get going, once you, you cover a few loads, then your business starts turning and you find easier ways to become successful. But, but to build that foundation, it takes a tremendous amount of effort, not only a tremendous amount, but just think, I have to, pro I have to, I have to commit 10 times the norm in order, in order to get going and build that foundation and move forward. Think 10x guys. I have to, for, I have to, pro, just to get going, I have to provide 10 times the amount of energy just to get going in my business. So many folks get on my call and they ask the same old questions. Hey, if you're not moving forward, it's because you're not taking massive action. And all these four questions, as I said earlier, take massive massive amounts of action. This is the reason only the highest targets truly pay off. Think about it. Think about all the big companies that are out there right now, like Apple, Amazon, uh, you know, Walmart. I'm not expecting any of you to be like those folks, but it took massive amounts of energy, not, not only to get started, but just to get where they are today. But and they are today because massive amounts of energy were, were, were taken and that's why they're at the level that they are. That's the reason only the highest of targets truly pay off, as I said earlier. What does it really mean to have success or to be successful? I mean, a lot of it is in our own minds. But really, what, what does it take to be to have success or to be successful, guys? Well, let me, let me start off by saying success. The definition of success literally means to turn out well or to attain a desired object or end. It, it, it means that you want something, th something to turn out well. Again, that's all in your mind, depending on what your goals are. It's when something turns out well or you've attained a desire end. Uh, a, a desired object or an end. That, that's truly what success is. Now the question is, will you keep working toward that level of success that you're looking to hit? 
And my, my hope is that you have set high goals, but just be aware it takes massive, massive energy to reach those goals where you are. Let me give you an example. Somebody says to me, I want to make a million dollars my first year of freight sales. I can guarantee you up to 99% that that individual will not attain that goal. Why? Because his, first of all, it's because his mindset isn't there. He's got to start here. And just, just to get at the bottom to a million dollars, I'll say it again, it takes, it takes a hundred X times the energy that's required to get there. What am I saying here? Why do I keep saying this? Because it takes massive amounts of energy to get anywhere. I've been in this profession now for 10 years. I've been an entrepreneur for 25, going on 30 years. It has taken so much learning and so much energy to get where I am today to become successful. Guys, this is not something that you coast in. It's something that you continue building your way to a goal. And hey, even as I tell you this, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir. I'm telling my own self, I'm reminding my own self that I have so much more to do and so much farther to go just to be a successful freight mover and a freight trainer, which is what I'm doing right now. Success then, it's an accumulation of, uh, of events that turn out well, of your desired outcomes that are being achieved. That's really what it is. When you can see that your effort is, is coming into outcomes, it's, it, it's producing outcomes that are in your favor, that's when you can truly say that I'm being successful. Now, for a lot of you folks that are listening, you're working on covering that first load or you're covering that second load or, your, or that third load. Well, let me just say this. When you cover your first load, that is success. What happens when you cover your first load? You work on your second load. What do you do after your second load? Your third load, your fourth load, your fifth load. All of this is part of you becoming successful. I want to assist you to have success today and crush the rest of your year. Again, I'm talking to you in October. We've got three months left to go. Here's my recipe for success. If you just go ahead and open up that, set, that second attachment. But I'm going to change the numbers here because, again, we're in October. I'm going to change the numbers here on my recipe because, in my mind, I've always, I've always had low numbers on here, you know, with the explanation that, well, these are minimum numbers. Guys, here's how you crush it. Here's how you crush it for the rest of this year. This is my recipe for success. It's standard, it's basic, but all you have to do is, all you have to do is follow it. The first thing you have to do is every day get 10 new emails or phone numbers. Get 10 new emails or phone numbers, regardless if you have an hour to do it, if you have three hours, if you have five hours, get 10 new emails or phone numbers. What does that pertain to for the week? Well, after a week, you're gonna have 50, 50 new emails and contact numbers that you can now keep getting contact with, follow up with. You're gonna add those to your contact list. What are you gonna do then? You're gonna communicate with that list. You're gonna communicate with it on a 10X level. My recipe for success, it says three contacts a day. You're gonna do 10 contacts a day. Think of how many different people that you can be in contact with when you get 10 contacts a day. Communicate with your list, follow up with them. One uh, minimum, minimum, one time a week, a telephone call always works best. If you wanna do it the easy way, which is what most people do and send a text or even lower than that, send an email, hey, go ahead. But I'll say this, a telephone call trumps anything else. When you can actually talk to somebody like I'm doing to you right now over the telephone or through a video, that has the highest value. Again, you're going to call those 10 prospects a day. Uh, uh, you're going to call 10 prospects a day. These are folks that you've already followed up or that you've already got their contact info on. What does that mean? That means more loads are moving. If you add 10 new contacts to your day, and you follow up with at least 10 per day, you, I guarantee, 
you will have more loads moving. Why? Because it's all relative. However, none of it happens if you don't do anything. If you just come in here like your standard starter thinking, hey, a truck driver told me that I can make a lot of money being a freight broker or a freight agent and you do nothing, then absolutely nothing will happen. Great topic today. Again, I just gave you four big questions to ask yourself. Ask, the, ask yourself those questions to, 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 to ponder those and actually take action on those for the rest of this year. Thanks for joining me today again on my Tuesday training call. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I'll be here again next week, same time, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time on my Tuesday training call. It's been a pleasure. Take care. God bless you all. I'll see you all here again next week on my Tuesday training call. Bye-bye. When you arrive at my Freight Sales Success Store today, you'll see a number, a host of products available there for purchase. First one you'll see available is my flagship product. That is my Freight Sales Success Guide, typically for beginner and struggling freight agents. If you're searching for that daily motivation, daily motivation to set goals, to achieve them, to pick up the phone daily and uh, connect and build relationships with the marketplace, then opt for my freight sales success quotes. And if you're searching for those specific skills, and there are many skills, many individual skills required to be successful in this profession, then opt for my freight sales success skill. I highly recommend each one of these products available for purchase today in my freight sales success store. Do you have any questions again? Do you have any questions about today's call? Or more importantly, are you ready for my top producing one-on-one -on -one personal freight sales, freight broker training? Then give me Ted Keys a call. I'm at 626-309-9141. Great topic for today. Take these skills, apply them, you'll be amazed at what happens to your results.